Furthermore, St. Ignatius mentions the third theological virtue, which is that of charity. Charity is simply this. It's supernatural love. It's a love for the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and also it's a clear manifestation of the love of God manifested through our, through our neighbor. If in your heart you feel once again this fire, this interior fire, which is almost consuming you, in which you really do love God, it's an intense love of God, then this is a manifestation of consolation within yourself. But this love of God cannot be a sterile love, but rather it, it is a love which is manifested by the way you love your neighbor. Pope Bennett XVI, his first encyclical was God is Love, a very important encyclical, in which the Holy Father speaks very clearly that our love for God, this interior love for God, which is felt in consolation, has to spill over and manifest itself in the way that we treat our brothers and sisters. And that is very clearly evident, as the Holy Father points out, in parables in this encyclical. The parable of the prodigal son, rather the parable of the Good Samaritan, in which the Good Samaritan helps out the person in need. Also the parable of the Last Judgment, in which Jesus said, I was hungry and you gave me to eat. I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. So this is an, an exterior manifestation of love towards one neighbor. So, love is the greatest of all theological virtues. So in consolation, you're experiencing love. But the love is a double love. Think about the cross. There is the vertical bar of the cross, and then there's the horizontal bar of the cross. The vertical bar of the cross manifests our love for God. We go up to God. And then the horizontal bar of the cross manifests our love for our neighbor. So, may you experience a great love for God and consolation, but this consolation has to manifest itself in the way that you treat your brother and your sister. Because indeed, whatsoever you do to the least of your brothers or your sisters, that indeed you've done to Jesus Christ.